What is going on everyone? It is your boy Kieran the Barber here. If you want today's transformation to see this hair go from this a few inches later to this, then keep an eye out, watch this video, enjoy it, and let me know what you think. So what is going on everyone, it is your boy Kieran the Barber here today with another Transformation Tuesday. Again, I apologise, I have not uploaded in a while, um, and reason being is because I've just been out of the country, I've been on a holiday with a wife and kids. Um, so this is a big transformation. Now Johnny's been growing his hair for two years, and today's the day that we're going to cut this short. We're gonna go short with this guys. Before I get started, I just wanna let you know that somebody actually forgot to turn the microphone on. Um, which is pretty, pretty rubbish. So there will be music over this. Unfortunately, there will be no clipper noise, which is gutting because this video is awesome. Um, keep watching, honestly, it is a great video, but I apologize now for the lack of sound plus you don't really want to be hearing what me and Johnny were talking about we were on Instagram live we we're having a bit of a laugh but I'm gonna go through this haircut with you step by step still and just while I'm on the subject guys of uh, enjoying the video please remember if you're watching this right now and you haven't clicked that subscribe button go and click that subscribe button I've got loads more content down there and I've got loads more content coming out so it's going to be awesome. Subscribe, like, comment, follow. Please, guys, just enjoy the video. So starting off like everything, um, especially with long hair, you want to start by removing bulk. So on Instagram Live, we went for shock factor, and I was just cutting big chunks out. I was cutting them away about two and a half inches away from the actual hair. And reason being for that is because I needed to um, leave it top heavy for a crop but I didn't want to take it too short because I needed still room to play with. To be fair to Johnny, I said, I'm not gonna lie, I actually like his haircut like that already. I've been there's a bit wedged and it's a bit everywhere. The crop already, as soon as I saw that and as soon as the way I saw his fringe fall, I was like, I know this is gonna suit him. So with wetting the hair down, what I now wanna do is, I wanna start coming up at an angle. I want to come up at a 90 degree angle to make sure I've cut all them sides nice and straight. I haven't started blending in yet, but what I want to do is I want to remove that head to see where I'm going. So with my Kenny Duncan clipper comb, I'll come up at a 90 degree angle and I'll come straight across just to remove that excess bulk. So I start with my US Pro cordless allies on a half grade with a bevel blade. Now I take that just above the occipital bone and I take it just around the ears.
From there, I grab my number one guard and I flick in a C motion half an inch above my half line that I've previously made. From there, what I want to start doing is I want to start blending in my half into my one into the top of the hair. Now for that, I use my Kenny Duncan um, clipper comb. I just like this comb because it has nice fine teeth on it. They're quite strong, they're not gonna break. It's a very good comb for fading. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link in the description below to where you can purchase one of these um, fading combs and anything else that I use in my video I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can check it out so now using my zero guard um, I've got this so it's fairly close as you can see already that's taking that right pretty much down to skin now I want to take that below the occipital bone because I don't want to come up too high with this fade. I want it to be a nice sort of low low taper. Just obviously a bit higher than a low taper. But I just want it to look real fly, real flush from what he's used to having. So thank you Richmond for passing me my fuzz brush. Now if you haven't heard of a fuzz brush before, it's a fading brush, it's really really soft. It's honestly it's my favourite fading brush. You can buy this from the Foss Academy, it's Mr. Chris Foster himself. If you search up Chris Foster on Instagram, I'm gonna put a little um a little link in the description below for Chris. But honestly, every barber needs one of these brushes they are the absolute best brush I've ever used for wiping away to see my fade a lot more clearly flicking between a open and closed guard now because I just want to make that fade just perfect and you can't obviously make every fade perfect by going zero then quarter then half sometimes you have to flick between an open and closed to make that perfect so that's currently what I'm doing I'm just flicking between the open and closed just to make sure it is a perfect fade. So now to pretty much get a softer fade on this, because it's a crop and I don't want it to be so harsh on them sides, blending in that last little bit, I'm gonna use my YS Park comb. And if you don't know about YS Park combs and you're a barber, why are you even barbering? No, I joke, seriously, you should go search these up, these are cool. Um, and my Kenchi scissors. Um, mainly because Kenji are the best scissors that I've probably ever used in my life. Um, I had shark fins for a while and shark fins are awesome and I thought nothing could ever beat shark fins until I picked up my Kenji's and now I can't put them down and they're, they're actually brilliant. Again, link in the description below guys, check them out. So with my wires part comb, I'm going to come up, gain at a 90 degree angle don't want to be coming into the hair just want to be taking that up as you can see I'm bringing my comb in and it's almost like I'm swinging it straight round and back out because I don't want to leave a dent in the hair <gasps> that's a tip for all you new barbers who want to learn how to cut hair honestly I'm gonna be really honest with you and say the the whole angle thing is is a must there's two primary angles there's 90 degree angles when you're blending the top of the hair and there's 45, deg 45 degree angles when you're tapering.
So now I'm going to start club cutting this hair before I chip into it or take um, texturize it or anything like that, take any weight out. I want to make sure that cut, because it's the first time it's been properly cut, obviously since having long hair, I want to make sure that cut is nice and dead straight because I don't want to go into a cut and it'd be all just messy and all over the place. Best thing to do is get your hair nice and level first and then texture it. You can always leave, leave a good half an inch if you want to um, have a play about but as I know where I'm going I like to cut straight away down to where I know and then texture in on thin out and um, do all that kind of thing straight after. Again with the fringe I just want to be club cutting that so I can get a range of like where I'm going. I left the fringe probably about a millimeter or two maybe three three millimeters a bit longer than I should have just for safety obviously because this is the first time that Johnny's had a crop so I didn't want to really scare him and go too too short so we left this fringe a little bit longer this time bear in mind this is, as I say it's the first time he's had this done so next time he comes in he might want to go a little bit short next time he comes in again he might want to go a little bit longer so we left it at the happy medium stage So now onto the beard, using my Elegance Plus, I love this shaving gel, it is the dog, um, mainly because it has silicone in it, so what that does is it stops the skin from irritation, especially when you're going over a razor, so you get a five pence piece and just rub it into the, um, rub into your fingers and rub it into the bits that you're going to shave. So before I started with the blow drying, I really completely forgot to film me putting in products. Now I'm going to tell you what I put in and it's a bit of a bizarre product, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So we ran out of hairspray the other week, right? Um, and we sent out one of our Richmond's customers. I'm going to name and shame him. His name is Chris Dum Dum. You can add him on Facebook, Instagram. Yes, his last name is Dum Dum. Dum Dum by name, Dum Dum by nature. Now, we sent Chris um, out to go get some hairspray, bless him. I love this kid to bits. Um, and he comes back with mousse. Who, come, who mistakes mousse for hairspray? That's what I want to know. Anyway, so we put some mousse in Johnny's hair. To be fair, I was like, well, I'm, you know, I'm not taking this back. I'm going to use this and I'm going to make take full advantage of it. 
So I've been using mousse for the last two weeks and do you know what? I've fallen in love with it a little bit as a pre-product. <laughs> I cannot lie. So I stuck a bit of mousse in Johnny's hair and now we're just drying it in. So what I want to do is I want to just make sure I'm using my hand as a diffuser. And I'm just very, very softly setting them into place. I don't want his hair to be flat. I don't want there to be body. That's what I'm trying to do right now. So now to finish the haircut, bit of hair powder, not a crazy crazy amount, just a little bit. And as always, a little bit of hairspray just to finish that hair off. Guys, again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you learned something. Please follow, like, and make sure you tap that subscribe button. I'm watching every single one of you. Guys, have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I'm going to finish this off by just shutting the hell up and letting you just enjoy it. God bless, guys. Peace out.